Room 217. As soon as they stepped into Room 217 at the Stanley Hotel, Sarah and Mark knew something wasn't right. The air felt thick and heavy, and the room was eerily quiet. They tried to brush it off and settle in for the night, but as they slept they were jolted awake by a loud thud. What was that? Sarah whispered, gripping Mark's arm. I don't know, he replied, sitting up in bed. Maybe it's just the hotel settling. But as the night wore on, the couple couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. They heard strange whispers and moans coming from the walls, and shadows seemed to move on their own accord. The next day, they asked the hotel staff about the strange occurrences, but they were met with uneasy glances and hushed voices. Finally, one of the staff members reluctantly told them the truth. Room 217 is cursed, the staff member said, looking over their shoulders. The spirit of a former housekeeper haunts the room, seeking revenge for her tragic death. Seri and Mark were skeptical, but as their state progressed, they couldn't deny the strange and terrifying experiences they were having. They heard the sound of footsteps walking across the room when no one was there, and they saw ghostly apparitions at the foot of their bed. One night, Sarah woke up to find the ghostly figure of the housekeeper standing at the foot of the bed. She screamed and tried to wake Mark, but he was unresponsive. As the ghostly apparition approached, Sarah realized that she had to confront the truth of the hotel's dark past if she ever wanted to escape the cursed room. She learned that the housekeeper had died tragically in the room, and her spirit had been trapped there ever since. In a final confrontation, Sarah and Mark fought for their lives against the vengeful spirit of the housekeeper, and they uncovered the horrifying truth of the hotel's dark past. They managed to escape the cursed room, but they knew they could never forget the terror they had experienced at the Stanley Hotel's room 217. As they left the hotel, Sarah and Mark couldn't help but feel relieved to be out of the cursed room. They breathed a sigh of relief as they drove away from the hotel, hoping to leave the terror behind them. But the memory of room 217 and the ghostly apparitions continued to haunt them long after they had left the hotel. They were plagued by nightmares and strange visions, and they knew that they had to confront the dark forces that had terrorized them. They returned to the hotel with a newfound determination to uncover the truth of the hotel's dark past. They sought out the hotel's historian, who revealed to them that the Stanley Hotel had a longing and terrifying history of paranormal activity. As they delved deeper into the hotel's past, they discovered a shocking truth. The Stanley Hotel had been built on an ancient burial ground, and the spirits of the dead had never truly left. Sarah and Mark knew that they had to take action to put the spirits to rest. With the help of the hotel staff, they conducted a series of cleansing rituals, hoping to rid the hotel of the dark forces that had plagued it for so long. In a final showdown, Sarah and Mark faced the vengeful spirit of the housekeeper once again, but this time they were armed with the knowledge and tools to defeat her. With a mixture of bravery and determination, they banished the spirit back to the other side. As they left the hotel for the final time, Sarah and Mark felt a sense of peace wash over them. They knew that the dark forces that had once haunted the Stanley Hotel had been vanquished, and they were grateful for the chance to put the spirits to rest. But as they drove away, they couldn't help but wonder if there were the haunted places in the ward, and if they too would need their help one day. They knew that they would never forget the terror they had experienced at the Stanley Hotel, and that they would always be ready to face whatever darkness lay ahead. Uh. The Children of the Stanley The Johnson family had been looking forward to their vacation at the Stanley Hotel for months. They wanted a relaxing getaway, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. But as they checked into their room, they knew that something wasn't quite right. The air felt heavy and thick, and they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. As the night wound, they heard strange noises coming from the hallway outside their room, and the sound of children's laughter echoed through the halls. The next day, the family went to explore the hotel, but they couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled over them as they passed by the grand staircase. They saw the ghostly apparition of children running and playing, but they disappeared as soon as they caught sight of them. As the days went by, the family became increasingly terrorized by the ghostly spirits of the children who had died in a tragic fire many years ago. They heard the sound of children's voices whispering in their ears, and they saw ghostly apparitions in the shadows. The family knew that they had to uncover the truth about what had happened to the children if they ever wanted to put their spirits to rest. They dug through old archives and newspaper clippings, and they eventually discovered that the fire had been started by a disgruntled hotel employee. Armed with this knowledge, 
the family confronted the ghostly spirits of the children, and they demanded that the spirits leave them alone. But the spirits refused to leave until they had justice for what had been done to them. In a final showdown, the family faced off against the vengeful spirit of the hotel employee, who had started the fire. With a mixture of bravery and determination, they managed to banish the spirit and put the spirits of the children to rest. As they left the hotel, the family felt a sense of peace wash over them. They knew that they had helped the spirits of the children find justice, and they were grateful for the chance to put the past to rest. But they also knew that the ghost of the Stanley Hotel would always be a part of their lives, haunting them with the memory of the tragedy that had taken place so many years ago. Even after they had left the Stanley Hotel, the Johnson family couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. They continued to hear the sound of children's laughter and whispering voices, and they knew that the ghost of the hotel would always be with them. But as time went on, they began to realize that their experience at the Stanley Hotel had given them a newfound appreciation for life. They had seen the darkness that lurked in the shadows when they knew that they had to cherish every moment they had with their loved ones. The family returned home, but they were forever changed by their experience at the Stanley Hotel. They couldn't help but wonder if there were other haunted places in the world, and if they too would need to confront the darkness that lay within. And so, they made a pact to always be ready for whatever the future held. They would face whatever darkness lay ahead, armed with the knowledge that they had gained at the Stanley Hotel. For they knew that the ghosts of the past would always be with them, and that the only way to move forward was to confront the darkness head on. And so, they went forward with newfound courage and determination, ready to face whatever horrors the future held. The Hotel at the End of the World the group of survivors had been on the run for months, searching for a safe place to call home in the aftermath of the apocalypse. When they stumbled upon the Stanley Hotel, it seemed like a miracle. The hotel appeared to be in perfect condition, with no signs of damage from the catastrophic events that had befallen the world. As they settled into the grand ballroom, they marveled at the opulence of the hotel. But as the night warmed, they began to hear strange noises coming from the walls, ghostly apparitions began to appear before them, and the survivors quickly realized that they were not alone in the hotel. As they fought for their lives against the vengeful spirits, they also began to unravel the dark history of the hotel that had been built by a wealthy businessman who had made a pact with the devil himself, promising his soul in exchange for eternal wealth and power. But the businessman had gone back on his word, and the devil had cursed the hotel with the spirits of those who had died in the apocalypse. The survivors soon realized that the hotel was not just haunted by the ghosts of the past, but also by the harsh reality of their new world. As they fought to survive against the ghosts, they also struggled to come to terms with the fact that their world had been irreparably changed. They had to confront the hard truth that they were now living in a hotel at the end of the world. In the end, the survivors were able to escape the haunted hotel, but not without scars, both physical and emotional. The experience had left them shaken and changed forever, and they knew that they could never go back to the world that existed before the apocalypse. The hotel at the end of the world would forever be etched into their memories as a reminder of the horrors they had endured, and the dark forces that still lurked in the shadows of their new reality. As the survivors left the haunted hotel behind, they continued their journey through the desolate world, Hunted by the memories of the hotel and the horrors they had encountered there, the group was fractured and traumatized, struggling to come to terms with the reality of their situation. As they traveled on, they encountered other survivors, each with their own stories of loss and struggle. They formed alliances and worked together to survive in the harsh new world. But the ghosts of the Stanley Hotel continued to haunt them. They appeared in their dreams, taunting them with visions of the hotel and the dark forces that had cursed it. The survivors realized that the ghosts had followed them out of the hotel and were now a part of their new reality. As they continued to search for a safe place to call home, the survivors realized that they could not escape the ghosts of their past. They had to confront them head on and find a way to put the spirits to rest. With the help of a wise and mysterious guide, the survivors embarked on a dangerous journey to find the source of the curse and put an end to it once and for all. They encountered many obstacles along the way, from savage raiders to treacherous terrain. But finally, they arrived at their destination, a dark and foreboding place where the curse had originated. That they faced the source of the curse, a malevolent force that threatened to consume them all. In a climatic battle, the survivors fought to overcome the curse and put the spirits to rest. They were able to defeat the malevolent force and lift the curse from the world. As they emerged from the darkness, 
The survivors realized that they had found not just a safe place to call home, but also a new sense of purpose and strength. They knew that they could face any challenge, no matter how terrifying, as long as they had each other and the memory of what they had overcome at the haunted hotel at the end of the ward. Um. The music room. Jake had been struggling with writer's block for months. He was a musician, but he had hit a wall and couldn't seem to find the inspiration he needed to write his next album. And so in a desperate attempt to reignite his creativity, he checked into the Stanley Hotel. As soon as he stepped inside, he knew that there was something special about the place. There was thick with the scent of history, and he could feel the weight of the hotel's secrets pressing down on him. But Jake was determined to find what he was looking for, and so he headed straight for the hotel's music room. As soon as he stepped inside, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. The room was filled with instruments of all kinds, and he knew that he had found the place where he would find his inspiration. But as he began to play, he realized that there was something strange about the melodies that he was hearing. They were haunting and ethereal, and they seemed to be coming from beyond the grave. As the days wore on, Jake became increasingly obsessed with the music room. He would spend hours playing, trying to capture the strange melodies that seemed to be calling out to him. But the more time he spent in the music room, the more he began to feel like he was losing his grip on reality. He would see ghostly apparitions in the shadows, and he could feel a dark presence lurking just out of sight. One night, as he was playing, he saw a ghostly figure appear in front of him. It was a woman, and she was playing a violin with a skill that was beyond anything Jake had ever seen. But as he watched, he realized that the woman was not playing for him. She was playing for someone else, and as the music swelled and filled the room, Jake felt a sense of terror wash over him. He knew that he had stumbled onto something dark and dangerous, and he knew that he needed to get out of the music room as quickly as possible. But as he tried to leave, he found that he was trapped. The door had become locked, and he could feel the presence of the dark force growing stronger with every passing moment. In the final showdown, he confronted the dark force that had taken over the music room. With a mixture of bravery and determination, he managed to banish the force and escape the room. As he left the Stanley Hotel, Jake knew that he had found the inspiration he had been searching for. But he also knew that he had uncovered something far more terrifying than he could have ever imagined. And so, he left the hotel, ready to face whatever dark forces lay ahead. But even after leaving the Stanley Hotel, Jake could not escape the haunting melodies that had plagued him in the music room. They followed him everywhere he went, whispering in his ear and calling out to him in the darkness of night. At first, he tried to ignore them, hoping that they would eventually fade away. But the melodies only grew louder and more persistent, until he could no longer distinguish them from the sounds of the outside world. Driven to the brink of insanity, Jake decided to seek out the help of a renowned psychic who specialized in dealing with malevolent spirits. Together, they delved deep into the mystery of the music room, uncovering a dark and twisted history that had been hidden for centuries. As it turned out, the music room had once belonged to a talented violinist named Isabella, who had been brutally murdered by her jealous husband after he caught her playing for another man. Her spirit had been trapped in the room ever since, playing the haunting melodies that had tormented Jake. But with the help of the psychic, Jake was able to free Isabella's spirit from the music room and send her on to the afterlife. The haunting melodies finally faded away, leaving Jake with a newfound sense of peace and a renewed passion for music. He left the Stanley Hotel, vowing never to return, but the memory of his experience in the music room stayed with him for the rest of his life, reminding him that even the most beautiful music can hide a dark and terrifying past. Oh. The Stanley's Secret the journalist Sarah had always been skeptical of stories of the paranormal, but when she arrived at the Stanley Hotel, she knew that there was something different about this place. She could feel the weight of the hotel's history pressing down on her, and the hairs on the back of her neck stood on end. As she began her investigation, Sarah spoke to staff members and guests who had witnessed strange occurrences within the hotel. They spoke of doors opening and closing on their own objects moving seemingly of their own accord, and ghostly apparitions lurking in the shadows. But as Sarah delved deeper, she began to uncover a much darker secret. 
she discovered that the hotel had a long and sordid history, marked by scandal, corruption, and even murder. She learned of a former owner who had used the Hive Hotel as a front for his criminal activities, and of a series of unsolved murders that had taken place within its walls. Asari continued her investigation. She realized that she had become a target. The hotel was not just haunted by the spirits of its past, but by a malevolent force that was determined to keep its secrets buried. As Sarah dug deeper, she found herself stopped by unseen forces, and she began to experience terrifying visions of the hotel's gruesome past. She realized that she was running out of time, and that she needed to find a way to escape before it was too late. In a race against time, Sarah fought to uncover the truth and escape the hotel's deadly grasp. She was able to unravel the dark secrets of the Stanley, but not before she was faced with the most horrifying truth of all, that the hotel's malevolent force was not a spirit or a ghost, but a living, breathing human being. In a final confrontation, Sarah faced off against the hotel's owner, a twisted and sadistic individual who had been using the hotel as a front for his criminal activities. She was able to defeat him and bring his crimes to light, but the experience had left its mark on her. As Sarah left the Stanley Hotel behind, she knew that she would never be the same. She had uncovered a truth more terrifying than any ghost story, and she would always carry the memory of the hotel's dark secrets with her. But the secrets of the Stanley Hotel were not done haunting Sarah. As she returned home and tried to put the experience behind her, she began to notice strange occurrences in her own house. Doors would open and close on their own objects would move inexplicably, and she would hear ghostly whispers in the dead of night. At first, Sarah tried to dismiss these occurrences as her own paranoia, a lingering effect of her time at the Stanley, but as they grew more frequent and more intense, she began to fear that the malevolent force that had haunted the hotel had followed her home. Desperate for answers, Sarah returned to the Stanley Hotel, determined to confront the source of her haunting once and for all, but when she arrived, she found that the hotel was now abandoned and in disrepair. The halls were empty and the rooms were dusty and cobwebby. As Sarah made her way through the hotel, she felt the weight of the building's history once again bearing down on her. But this time, she was not alone. As she reached the grand staircase that led to the upper floors, she felt a presence behind her. She turned to find the hotel's owner, the malevolent force that had hunted her before, standing before her. His eyes were dark, and his expression was twisted with rage. Sarah knew that she was facing a battle for her very soul. With all the strength she could muster, she fought against the evil that had followed her home and haunted her at the Stanley. In a final terrifying confrontation, she was able to defeat the malevolent force once and for all. As Sarah left the Stanley for the final time, she knew that she had put the ghost of the hotel to rest. But at what cost that the experience had left her scarred and haunted, and she knew that she would never be the same again. The Stanley Hotel would always be a place of terror and horror for her. A place she could never return to. Oh.